channels. When you go to AJ Plus's social media channels, you are bombarded by so much content dedicated to homosexuality and- Oh, look, look, see, more women faces are covered. Transgender issues. <gasps> no transgender issues. They have been promoting LGBT since 2015. At look, so yeah, AJ Plus is way to the left of United States average views as well. So look, look how, look how he went and investigated. The latest one was 2015. So the, this tweet is saying, and LGBT and straight couples take part in group wedding ceremony in front of, you know, in front of Florida. At least a year before gay marriage even became legalized in the United States. Mm. So they were way ahead of the curve. What makes this more noteworthy is that they also promote LGBT normalization in the Muslim world. If there is anything related to LGBT. Okay, thousands of students in Indonesia are protesting a proposed new criminal code that would criminalize same-sex relationship and impose jail penalties for abortions or sex outside of uh, marriage. In the Muslim world, AJ Plus is quick to glorify it. LGBT man speaks out in change. Yeah. yeah and celebrated with coverage in multiple languages. Lebanon became the first Arab country to hold an LGBT Pride Week last year. Languages, English, Arabic, French, and Spanish. Beyond LGBT, many of AJ Plus's videos. But guys, like, this is not even, that, okay, for us, this is not even like far lefty stuff. This is for us like basic human rights stuff, right? So for him to like, be like be raising the alarm over like oh my god lgbt like aj plus is not just like normal left okay like if you actually go watch the content like i do they're like really woke histani left like they did you know so this is like they're more left than what it would what, what actually here shows right uh maybe okay so secular thank you so much secular proton for the five i don't know what currency super chat i really appreciate that um Oh, Abdullah is saying excellent point. Wow, that's great. Uh, thank you, Abdullah. Uh, here's the super chat is saying, maybe he used some software to cover face which wouldn't pick hair. Speaking of which, which is why, don't you use something similar for subtitles in other languages? Um, YouTube just recently removed automatic subtitles, and I don't think automatic subtitles for la other languages would, do any, would be any good. I think it would be horrible. We, we need to, um, there's a soft, there's a website that you could hire and I checked their prices and they're the best ones at this, but what was it? Red Rocket? Was it Red Rocket? I think it was Red Rocket. I forgot, but that's what I'm going to use when we have enough money. Anyways, but thank you so much for the $5, five, five, whatever. I don't know, five, what super chat that's going to go getting us closer to our goals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Promote prostitution or yeah. what? Okay, okay, so, um, hold on. Or what they call sex work. Obviously, we know that prostitution. So he's like, yeah, prostitution, they call it sex work. Will DC decriminalize sex work, okay? Work. Obviously, we know that prostitution has nothing to do with Islam and nothing to do with the beautiful cult. Yeah, you know why prostitution has nothing to do with Islam? Because legalized prostitution requires the consent of the woman involved. And Islam doesn't care about consent. Islam does, it doesn't do prostitution. Islam does sex slavery instead. The beautiful culture and heritage of Qatar and Qatari people. So why is... So like this is an insult to the Qatari people because the Qatari people would not endorse population. Look at that. Look at these beautiful Qatari people. Uh, look at them. Look at how, could, they, could these beautiful people with these flowers and these beautiful mosques, do you think they would be on the side of prostitution? Obviously of not. Qatar look and at, Qatari people. Here, look at this. Prostitution has nothing to do with Islam and nothing to do with the beautiful, beautiful culture and heritage of Qatar and Qatari people. Yeah, this is this, by the way, guys, like uh, AJ Plus f pushing socialism, right? This is Qatar, okay? Look at this. This is Qatar. This is P 
pure capitalism at display. <laughs> this is this is what you get in capitalism. And AJ Plus is like pushing for socialism. And heritage of Qatar and Qatari people. So why is Qatar's... Um, Sajib is, I don't know, how, how do you think that? I don't know, I'm not going to read that. ...government facilitating these pro-prostitution ideas throughout the world through AJ+. Are these the images that they want people to associate with Qatar? What makes AJ Plus especially problematic is their criticism of Muslim countries that apply. Uh, Brunei is set to enforce new laws that make gay sex punishable by whipping and, or stoning to death. Look at this guy. So Daniel Heyraju is highlighting this and AJ Plus is bringing it to attention that the UN has called this, what, draconian, right? So apparently, so basically Daniel Heyraju saying AJ Plus should not criticize Brunei for bringing, for making gay sex punishable by stoning to death. Oh yeah, AJ, how evil of AJ Plus to, to report on the news that Brunei is making gay sex punishable by death. Yeah, you should leave Brunei alone. Let them do what they want. Like, okay, so this is, let's see what his commentary on this is, okay? So, oh, this is another one. Publicly came um, okay, uh, for gay sex. So whipped, I think. that's Yeah, publicly whipped for uh, gay sex. So, Daniel Raju is like, why are you demonizing this whipping of gay people? How dare you? Okay, let's see what his commentary is on this, okay? especially problematic is their criticism of muslim countries ages okay so what's especially problematic is ages plus criticism of indonesia i think this is indonesia uh, yeah for whip for whipping people that did gay sex criticism and also of muslim criticism of brunei stoning people to death for gay sex. So Daniel Heraju looks at this and what he's calling problematic here is not the stoning to death part. What he's calling problematic is the criticism of the stoning to death part. Guys, this is your mind on Islam. This is where you can... <laughs> This is your mind on Islam. This is true, authentic, authentic Islam. Right here. From country. Hey, YouTube, I'm not endorsing. YouTube, pet, YouTube gods, algorithm. I wasn't endorsing any of this. Okay, I was, that's, that was sarcasm. Okay, God, that, YouTube gods. Guys, Jesus Christ that apply the hudud hudud are a part of islam and wait hudud hudud is like had right that means or mahdudiyat does that mean limitations soha kowalski in the live chat soha <laughs> she's our analyst hudud means yeah yeah like exactly abdullah samir is saying he's endorsing it yeah exactly he's endorsing it. he's endorsing the stoning guys hudud means limitations right yeah, Daniel is endorsing it. Exactly. Abdullah, do a video on this. All right, guys, everybody check Abdullah Samir's YouTube channel. Did you say YouTube gods? Yes, those are the only gods that we fear here at the Atheist Republic. Yes, limitations. See, I connected the dots, okay? Because hudud, I have no idea what hudud means, but I know what had means, and I know what mahdud means. So I thought hudud, hudud is like, must based on the format of the verb, I know it must be like a, plural of something and ba ba basically had means limit so hudud must mean limitations yes see i connected the dots even though i've never i didn't see hudud before i connected the dots and i know that hudud must means limitations yeah exactly abdullah it's like that's the only god we fear gods we fear oh hudud means punishments are like stoning yeah but it must mean the punishment that limits punishment is he dude, in this case, not, oh, hey, wait, I was wrong? Means punish, he, okay, so in this case, it's punishments, not limitations. 
Well, punishment limits you to in doing things, right? Is, is that not why they're calling? Okay, so I was wrong. I got excited. Okay, so you see, um, Ibrahim is saying, who do this Sharia law? Yeah, but Sharia law, what does Sharia law do? It limits you, right? It limits, it's the limitations on your actions. The, what do punishments do? The punishments are limitations on your actions. And that's why you must be sharing this root verb, hadada, like, like, he, de, de. Right? So here's he, ha, right? And de, 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 that must be the root verb. And that's why it means capital punishment. Exa See? So I was saying exactly. So as Arab, so she knows. So she's like, so basically Daniel Hayraju is like, how dare you criticize these well, laws? Then, is there criticism of Muslim countries that apply the hudud? Hudud are a part of Islam and they're a part of the Sharia. And Muslims will always be proud of the Hudud, no matter how much Western feminists, liberals, and secularists want to shame us for our religion. Muslims will always be proud of whipping and stoning gay people, no matter how much the feminists and the LGBT rights activists and the humanists and the atheists and the Western culture, no matter how much you want to shame them for them, they will always be, always be proud of their stoning traditions. Of course, of course they will be proud. Okay, first of all, no. Unlike Daniel Hegaju, I am not willing to generalize all Muslims. I, in fact, think it's the opposite. I think most Muslims will, most Muslims will see that as disgusting. Okay, let me change this frame. I don't want to make him. Um, I think most Muslims find that vile and barbaric and violent, and they have they come up with different methods of if you confront them with the fact that this is part of Islamic teachings, they either try to ignore it or they kind of try to come out and say, "Oh, this was for a different time," or they kind of just like, "Oh, this means something else," or they recently are trying to throw away all of that. These I've you know I've seen that happening um, more and more actually. Um, or trying to dismiss the importance of hadith. Anyways, they keep kind of trying to... The fact that they're not being intellectually honest, but why? the reason why they're not being intellectually honest is because they're good people. They don't want to believe in a religion that stones people. They don't like it. They don't like stoning. Most Muslims like, yeah, just, nah, no, this is so inconvenient. Okay, so they're trying to... Be like some be like, okay, this is only under an Islamic government. When you only when you bring back the Khalifa, and like, well, is then would you support it? They keep dancing around it, but why do they dance around it? Because most Muslims are better than Islam. That's why. So I have, I I I give Muslims more credit. I mean, than than he said like he said all Muslims. He said all Muslims. Did he just takfir every single Muslim that is not proud of stoning people to death? Did he just takfir them? Look at because did he just generalize all Muslims? Hold on, let's see what he just said. Always, you see, he's generalizing. He's overgeneralizing. Attic is there criticism of Muslim countries that apply the hudud? Hudud are a part of Islam and they're a part of the Sharia. And Muslims will always be proud. Muslims will always be proud. That is, that is. That is generalizing. That's an absolute statement right there. That is, I don't know how it's going. Either he has no clue that many Muslims do not feel like that, or he's just takfiring every single Muslim that doesn't agree with that. Right? You guys know what takfir means? Basically, announcing somebody to be a non Muslim. Arjun is saying, I'm actually optimistic about people like Hayraju eventually apostatizing <laughs> oh my god you have more okay or at least his followers if he doesn't have enough time i don't think so but okay uh, wait abdullah samir if you hate allah's laws you are a disbeliever yeah he's like yeah so he's that's what basically he's saying so i mean i'm not saying that right i'm more accept i'm my definition of who's a muslim my is way more inclusive than what Daniel Hegaju is offer offering here, right? He's saying Muslims will always be proud of these laws. And we know for a fact that many are, of them aren't, and many of them don't even know about it. Uh, Sajib saying most Muslims want an Islamic country and want to enforce Sharia law. Yeah, but 
Well, no. For, okay, so most Muslims have no idea what's in Sharia law. Most Muslims have no idea what's Sharia law. Okay? So even if they say that, they don't know what they're supporting. What is he? Yeah, exactly. That's what he's saying. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, I know, Abdullah. I know you wouldn't say that. But again, does that mean, based on what he said, like, can you guys interpret that in any other way than him saying that the people who don't, are not proud of this are not Muslim? Because that is a Kharajite move if I've seen one, right? Basically, that's takfiring. That's basically, takfiring is a very controversial move, move among Muslims themselves. To denounce, to announce somebody that is as a non-Muslim because of disagreements like this. You know, both Shias and Sunnis think that the Kharajites did that and they both hate the Kharajites. And in fact, in, in, a lot of Sunnis and Shias, especially Sunnis, as a way to say to to to, to be an be anti ISIS, they compare them to the Kharijites because they hate the Kharijites. Um, but let's continue. Of the Hudud, no matter how much Western feminists, liberals, and secularists want to shame us for our religion, is Qatar's government? not aware that they are funding a media outlet that is adding fuel to the fire mm. of anti-Islam, anti-Muslim hatred? By the way, uh, a channel like AJ+, Plus, anti-Muslim hatred, how is that? How are they doing that? They're in fact doing the opposite. They're making Muslims seem more moderate than they actually are. Uh, they're like, oh, look at this LGBT uh, plus mosque or whatever. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, the way I think AJ Plus looks at Islam is the same way most woke, like, not most, I don't know if it's most, but a lot of woke people look at Islam, right? Like, as in, with cultural relativism, uh, expect you know, um, bigotry of lower expectation, um, making excuses for Islam and saying it's not as bad as other people think. And basically doing like a reformed gymnastics and oppressed minority kind of 